I do HR analytics for a client here in New Zealand and recently they asked me to show the staff salary increases as a bell curve. Well, technically not a bell curve, but the frequency distribution curve. Now, the traditional methods for creating these are rather hard or long winded. I am going to show you a dead simple way to create bell curves or frequency distribution curves in Excel and then take them to the next level. Let's take a look at this. So here I have some employee data with their business group name, gender and how much salary increase they have received. Now in order to create the frequency distribution chart, you can just select, go to insert, pivot table and just insert in on a new worksheet. Keep in mind that you do not enable the add data to data model option. And once the pivot table is here, what we want to show is the salary increases in in a bands of let's just say $100 each and then see how many people got that. So we can take the salary increase, we can put it here and that will show each individual salary increase. You can also take the salary increase and put it here and that will just show some of the salary increases. So for example, 465, there are two people adding up to 930. Now just let's right click on this, go to summarize value count so we can see the count of people. At this point, right click on this salary increase column and just say group and you can use the group by feature of pivot tables to group the salary increases or any other numbers into buckets of 50 or 100 or 5000. So let's just say we would like to start at 400 go up to maybe 3600 in the groups of 200 at a time. So this will automatically group them and then it will show the count. Now that this information is there, let's go and insert a line chart or an area chart. Let's go with the area chart because it looks better. And this is already showing you that kind of a normal or a bell curve distribution. So let's quickly tidy this up. Now, what we would also like to show is kind of show a smoothed curve around it. So you can take the salary increase and add it to the pivot table again. This will add another series to the pivot table and then show that area as well. Now we have both blue and orange areas. Right click, change series chart type and from here, for the second salary increase, just change it to a line chart. So now you have both area and a line on top. Let's click on the area, go to format, which is control one. And from here, fill color. Let's fill this with the blue color, but make it 25% transparent so that you can see the grid lines behind. Let's select the line as well. And for this line, we'll match the color and go all the way down and enable smoothed line so that we can see a little bit of smooth trending of the data. But let's just make it dynamic so I can look at the distribution by the department. To do that, all we have to do is go back to our pivot table, click on business group name and add it as a slicer. Position the slicer right next to your chart and now you have a dynamic salary increase distribution. I can go into any individual department to see how the people in there are, okay? It all works good, but there is a bit of jumpiness to this chart. For example, when I go to a different department, I don't see the same labels. I see a different range for that department. To fix that problem, all you have to do is go back to the row labels here and right click, go to field settings, and from here in the layout and print options show items with no data just enable that so what happens is if there is a row label that doesn't have data it will still appear in the pivot table and also in the chart so that you will get a, a realistic comparison of the trend with respect to the business group so i can go to a different group i can see for example development group has more of a bell curve whereas exec support the bonuses are all over in the higher end, so they're skewed. So that is the bell curve chart. Now let's take it to the next level. Add a pivot table, put salary increase. Now 
keep in mind that the second time you make a pivot table from the same data that grouping is sticks that, that grouping sticks so you don't need to repeat the grouping process we will add number of people and add gender in the column area let's quickly disable the grand totals and let's add this again so you have both gender and two sets of values for this so once this pivot table is ready we will insert our area chart now let's go and quickly fix the problems here and here is our bell curve distribution of salary increases split by gender so you have your male employees here and female employees there and i can go into any individual department to see what's going on there or i can clear the filters to see the overall organization thank you so much for watching that video for more charting tricks i recommend watching the videos in my storytelling with excel charts playlist that is linked on the screen and if you are here for the very first time feel free to download my free excel tips book using the card shown on the screen see you again bye bye